of these people here previously had houses, had homes, had a small shack, but they had something that was their own. Now they're being forced to wash their, their, their washing in public. They're washing their faces. It's, it's early morning here. This is donated water. And this tented campus sprung up in an open field in a Johannesburg suburb. This is not the kind of thing you see every day here in South Africa. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. This image of refugees and of uh, people trying to flee violence is not something uh, that is common to South Africa. And just look at this. I mean, this, this row here, about 100 meters of luggage all piled up waiting uh, for, uh, to go back to Mozambique. Essentially, these are Mozambicans here. Many of them can't speak English, so we can't really speak to them. But they are waiting to get a bus back to Maputo, the capital in Mozambique. The Mozambique government has been putting on buses and evacuating its citizens from South Africa. And this is just the next uh, line of people hoping to be able to get out to catch the bus and go back home. And this is just the Mozambican story. We're also hearing from Zimbabweans who are also trying to get back home. Uh, the opposition leader in Zimbabwe, Morgan Changarai, was here recently and he said he'd also try and organize for bus to come here to pick them, the Zimbabweans up to evacuate them back to Zimbabwe. So the Zimbabweans even saying they'd rather take their chances with Robert Mugabe's regime than stay here in South Africa and get such an unwelcome reception from the South Africans. Now, uh, the South African government says about 28,000 people have been displaced. This is just a small group of them. Uh, we also know that at least 40 people have been killed in this xenophobic violence that has ravaged South Africa, and particularly this Johannesburg area in the past few weeks. Uh, but this is no, by no means over. The troops are on the streets. They are helping the police to try and quell the violence. But for many people here, they already have clearly got the message that they're not welcome. Robin Kerno, CNN, Johannesburg, South Africa.